Hey, it's Alicia from mobilitymastery.com. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about why when I get acutely injured, I actually use heat to decrease inflammation instead of ice. And this probably sounds like a very backwards thing from a lot of the advice that's out there. But if you actually dig into the internet a little bit, if you're in kind of this health and healing world, especially where mobility and injuries go, then you're gonna find other people who actually agree with me. Uh, and I've talked about this before, but I wanna talk about it's the, the heat versus ice thing specifically today instead of the whole rice protocol. Uh, so some of you are aware, I recently got acutely injured, twisted my knee really badly, ruptured my MCL, I'm pretty sure, uh, and probably strained if quite a few other tendons and ligaments, um, you know, around my knee, and had quite a bit of inflammation in the beginning. And then I think after like day four, five, six, somewhere in there, you know, the inflammation started to decrease, and, uh, and then I started to gain you know, more function, more range of motion, being able to walk a little bit better. And then I would go through these periods of, uh, you know, maybe inc an increase in range of motion and then a sudden, uh, you know, swelling basically in my knee. And, um, you know, the, the common protocol out there is ice. And even the chiropractor that I'm going to that I actually really like, uh, we disagree on a few things and this is one of them. They've been asking me, so are you icing it? And I say, no. Um, so I've been using heat actually this whole time. So when uh, the injury first happened and it was acutely swollen, like my knee was really, really puffy and, and swollen, um, I would actually wrap it in a really hot bath towel and then wrap my whole leg in another big towel so it could kind of lock the heat in. Um, and interestingly, what this actually did is help helped the, the knee itself and kind of the tendons and ligaments around it relax a little and I, it gave me greater range of motion. But what I also noticed is that immediately after, um, like the next day, so I guess not immediately after, but, um, and usually I was doing this at night, uh, but right before bed. Um, the next morning I'd wake up and man, the, the inflammation was totally decreased. So why the heck would you want to use heat to decrease inflammation. Well, uh, it's my philosophy that the body is extremely wise and I look to my body to teach me about how to take care of it. I don't, um, or I should say, I try not to assume that I know better than my body and I try to let my body guide me through healing processes. So if my body is generating inflammation, then I'm looking at that as my body's wise action in this moment to give my knee what it needs. And why would it do that? Well, inflammation, what does inflammation do? It, it you know, swells the area, it increases the vasculature, and ultimately what it's trying to do is isolate the injured area of your body to get nutrients there. And that's a really good thing. And we don't want to, or at least I don't want to interrupt that process. I want my body to get the blood flow to my knee that it needs to heal more rapidly, right? And as soon as my knee starts getting what it needs, which is blood flow and those nutrients that will help it repair at the cellular level, then the inflammation will go down. So in my opinion, it's better to help the body do what it's already trying to do with inflammation than to consider inflammation a bad thing and then fight it with ice. Because what ice is gonna do is, you know, potentially bring the swelling down, um, decrease that uh, vascular expansion, if you will, which is, you know, somewhat temporary with inflammation. Um, and you might not get the blood flow you need. Now. I wanna say that uh, if I were able to submerge my whole body in cold water, that would be a very good thing and it would actually increase my total body blood circulation. Uh, but just isolating an area with ice is doesn't do that. Um, and the reason it doesn't do that is when we submerge ourselves in water, uh, whether it's hot or cold really, um, but it actually puts pressure uh, on the body. 
and the compression of that water over your whole body um, kind of gives a squeeze to your vascular system and your arteries and basically the whole blood system, circulatory system in your body, and it just starts to pump it more you know, through your whole system. So I'd be a fan of using cold submersion for, for that reason, but not to decrease the inflammation in the acutely injured area. Um, and if I were able to do that right now, I would preferably want to go between hot and cold. So in, an, in my fantasy, you know, home health healing sanctuary, if I had one, um, I'd have a sauna and a cold plunge and a whole bunch of other fun things. I'm not there yet. Uh, but I would love to go back and forth, sauna, cold plunge, sauna, cold plunge, or hot, you know, maybe hot springs and then cold plunge. Uh, but, you know, in, in my case, I'm going to work with what I got, right? So if I notice acute inflammation around an injury, I'm actually going to use heat. So if you want to try this, um, you know, obviously if you're watching this, maybe you're acutely injured right now and you're wondering what to do. I'm not a doctor. This isn't medical advice. I'm just sharing my experience and what has worked for me and why I believe that it works better than icing. Uh, then really you can, you know, I think the way that I was doing it is probably one of the better ways. You could take a hot bath, but that is going to then kind of be your, your whole body, per, you know, not just the, the one area. Uh, but I liked the, you know, the method that I used of just heating up a, basically a hand towel, really, really, really hot, um, almost like it's too hot to the touch, like, ah, and um, asked, I asked Stefan, my fiance, to help me. So he got that hot. I was in bed ready to wrap it around my knee. And then we immediately wrapped it in another towel and just locked that heat in. So there are probably quite a few ways you could do this, but that's the really easy economical way that I chose. It worked great. And then I repeated it a few times as needed. Um, and it just helped my whole knee relax. And then the next morning, the inflammation was practically gone. Uh, and of course, there are other ways that you can help your body open blood channels and get better, you know, circulation, blood flow, and those nutrients to an acutely injured area, fascia release being one of the best ways to do that. And this channel is full of fascia release demos, techniques, and tutorials. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, and if you're acutely injured right now, I have tons of techniques for head to toe issues. Uh, I wanna just mention real quick before closing this out that I'm talking about acute inflammation from an injury. You know, So I twisted my knee really badly, ruptured an MCL and then boom, I have swelling. Uh, this could happen you know, if you roll an ankle, it could happen in a bunch of other ways, right? That we get acutely injured if we fall for in a car accident. Uh, but I'm not really talking about systemic or chronic inflammation. That's gonna come down to other mechanisms and other things happening in the body, perhaps toxicity being one of them. Um, so that's not the topic of this video. I do talk about that elsewhere, but I just wanted to make that super clear because I'm not really sure yet <laughs> um, if using heat to, uh, you know, um, if using heat is a good idea, I guess you should say, to decrease systemic inflammation. I'm not sure it works that way because systemic inflammation is quite, quite different. Uh, then you would want to look at why are you systemically or chronically inflamed? Um, so this is for acute injuries. I highly recommend looking into the science of this for yourself. Kelly Sturette of previously Mobility Wad, now he's um, the Ready State or TRS, uh, has talked about this. So you could probably look up Kelly Sturette, um, uh, heat versus ice, and maybe find some information about this. Um, and then there are plenty of other people as well. So I'm not the only one, um, but I, I like working with my body, not against it. And that's what I like to teach you. So I hope this was useful. And even if you're not currently injured right now, maybe tuck that away in the back of your mind. And if, I hope you don't get injured in the future, but if you do, maybe keep this in mind and it might actually help give your body what it needs in the moment. And then you can move through that process faster. So please share your thoughts and your takeaways below. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions for me about this, post them below as well. I like to tailor my content to you. Uh, so if you have a question about a different topic, you can post that as well. And I'll try to get in there and answer your questions too. So uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>